Hey kids, do you know some plants spend their entire life snatching and borrowing from other plants? And such plants which snatch or borrow the nutrients from the other plants, they are called the parasitic plants. Okay, we call them parasitic plants. Why are we calling them parasitic? We are calling them parasitic plants because they are dependent upon the other plants. Well, not just this, they do not do anything in exchange. They are pretty selfish. They only take substances from the other plants and hence, I am calling them selfish as well. Well, here we observe that why do they do so is because usually these plants, they lack the ability to photosynthesize or maybe that they can photosynthesize but they do not have the ability to absorb the nutrients. So, as a first example, let's see the mistletoe. Mistletoe, it's a very common plant and we hear about this plant usually around the Christmas time. But do you know that the mistletoe is a thief? It spends its life, you know, just snatching water from other plants. So, as the mistletoe does not have roots of its own, it depends upon the other plant, meaning the host plant. So, mistletoe, it grows on the branches of other plants from where it can absorb the water. Now, as soon as it absorbs the water, now it can make its own food with the help of photosynthesis. And since it is dependent on the other plants like partially, hence we can call such a type of plant as the partial parasite. Okay, we can call it the partial parasite. Why are we calling it so? Because it is depending on the other plants only for the nutrients, not for the entire nourishment. Okay, only for some nutrients and in this case of mistletoe it is the water. So, such type of plants which do not entirely depend upon the other plants, they are called partial parasites. On the other hand, if we take an example of dodder, we see that dodder requires nourishment from other plants only. It cannot make its own food, it cannot do anything of its own. So, if that means that right from the seed germination, dodder requires the help of other plants meaning the host. So, what it does? It grows on the other plant, it produces root like structures into the other plants and we see that these root like structures into the host, they absorb the nourishment from there. So, this is the example of a total parasite as it is completely dependent upon the other plant for its nourishment and hence we will say that this is a total parasite. So, we can see that plants which cannot prepare their food, first of all we are calling them parasitic plants, okay, because they are dependent upon the other plants. Now, it can be partially or totally, okay, partial parasite we have seen examples such as the mistletoe. In total parasite we have seen an example of dodder, but not just dodder, do you know this plant which is Rafflesia, you know that Rafflesia has the largest flower. It is also called as corpse flower because it smells really, really bad. It smells so, so as to attract the insects towards itself for pollination. Also, we see that Rafflesia also produces some thread-like structures on the host plant and it absorbs all the nutrition from there. It is said that not just the nutrition, but they also absorb, they also snatch the, some of the genes from the host plant. Well, it is still not known how does it do it, but it does tops the list of all the parasitic plants. Get all the right answers here. Subscribe now.